hey, I need to run to Target to pick up a couple things. <laughs> Hey guys! Today we're doing a video that we do best. And that is Holland. So we went to our, one of our favorite places on earth and that would be Target. The happiest place on earth. I think we've been like three times this week. Right next to Disney World, Disneyland, all of the Disney. So we did some shopping, we got some things and we're gonna show them all to you. But first, if you enjoy hauls and seeing what we got, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you're like, hey, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before. I stumbled across your video. Hi. Welcome. You should subscribe. And go down and leave us a comment and let us know who you are because now you know who we are and we want to know who you are <laughs> don't take strangers and candy from strangers don't take strangers either that's kidnapping so we teamed up with Neutrogena to bring you this haul video and we have some very exciting products that we're getting to try out so let's just start showing you those right this second this has become a part of my every night routine make up, make off, makeup taking off routine. And that is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And what I love most about these is they've got a good wetness. And like if we had to do like a scale on like things that makeup wipes have to have, wetness. Wetness. A good check. A good thickness. Like a, yes. I don't want it to feel papery thin. Like I don't want it to look like a dryer sheet because right. hello, dryer sheet, it says it's gonna be dry not dryer sheet with nice plump wetness is like moisturization. Yes, and I also really need it to not burn my eyes because I have to use this to take off my eye makeup and my mascara, which this does a great job, does not sting my eyes. Is wet. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, it says even waterproof mascara, and it also says that it's gentle for your sen sensitive eye area and it's good for contact lens wearers, so. Fragrance free. On your eyes. I love these. Love. I could not live without makeup wipes. Like, I couldn't. No. Hashtag la lazy girls unite. Yeah. Before these existed, there I were. I makeup. I know. I hate to admit it, but I, I did. did. Next, we. <laughs> Can we just talk about this? Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti Aging Perfector. Two words I like perfection and anti aging. Nobody wants to look older and nobody wants to not look perfect. Except for some guys. Some guys want the distinguished older look. Okay, so I, I see hear. you, George Clooney. <laughs> So this has retinol in it, which is huge because I, we're always looking for creams and stuff that have retinol in them, but it's like twofer. Foundation, retinol. I will say that if you're building something into like my foundation or my concealer, I'm wearing that every day. Now I might not put my eye cream on or my face cream at the end of the night because we already covered this. Lazy girls for life. But I'm gonna put my foundation on. And so. it's got retinol in it, so it's gonna help with the aging. And so this also has SPF in it, which also is anti-aging, because you don't wanna get all that sun all up in your skin. We just a little bit of sun, but preach not a lot. to you guys, like wear your SPF all the time. And again, if it's in your makeup, you're covered. But it also like smooths out and perfects as it says your skin, which Perfector. I'm not complaining about either. All the good things. All the good things. All the good things. <laughs> and it's also moisturizing and evens out your tone. Skin. Next we have the Neut Neut <laughs> <laughs> Next we have the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. And you guys, I have been loving these since they first came out. And they have like more new shades, seven, eight, five, six, a lot of them. But this one's really exciting. Yeah, I think that was one of the first little bomb sticks that you started picking up. I did. And if it wasn't enough already, they've come out with an exclusive color with Target. I love any, like, I love Target. So now I get to have, well, it's called Classic Red, but I'm gonna call it Target Red. It's number 160 Classic Red. I'm gonna call it Target Red. And Yeah, I'm gonna call you Target Red. You're Target Red. So you can only get this one at Target, but- you get it. You that's, put it on your lips and you wear it when you go to Target. That's not a problem for me because like I said, we go to Target like three times a week. Hey, All the time. do you need do you need to stock up on extension cords? Extension cords? Let's go to Target. Classic red. Ooh. Ooh. And what I love about these is they're moisturizing, so they're perfect for this time of year. And seriously, look at that color payoff. Glided right onto your hand. Fruity. It's like a tropical explosion of red. delicious fruitness on your. It's like the mouth. best red ever. It's not too blue, it's not too orange, it's like classic. It's classic red. There's so many colors. Now that they've added like eight or so, I think there's like 15 or 16 colors. There's a lot. Yeah. Okay, the next section is gonna include clothing. And I just have to say, we have a game that we play when we go to Target. We do? Yeah, it goes, what are you wearing right now that's from Target? Oh yeah. <laughs> so my shirt's from Target. My and shirt is. my boots. And my boots. Lance showing some of the clothing. Oh, another really cool thing is, I feel like because we've had such a mild winter, a lot of things are already on clearance, like sweater-wise. 
Yeah, and I feel like not a lot of people bought a lot of this stuff from our Target. So there's good stuff there. Okay, so plus I live in a college town, and all the girls wear oversized t-shirts and shorts. <laughs> so I got this cute cardigan. Steph has a green version of this cardigan, and it's so soft and so cuddly. And it was eight dollars, people. Like regularly thirty. Yeah, and it has sleeves that you put your arms in. I love it. I love it. It's the Morona brand and it was on clearance. Ooh, speaking of clearance, 99% sure this is a boy shirt, but 100% sure I love it. <laughs> and so now I'm not afraid to shop the boy section. Okay. I mean, I wasn't before, but like I didn't really. The reason it was a boy shirt, I found it in clearance in the girl section. So like, she didn't know. Probably some girl's boyfriend was just like, eh, I don't want it. I don't know. But the only reason I think it's boys because the small's big and the buttons are on the opposite side. But and have, the armholes are real big. Yeah, the arms are real big. So this is a red and black like flannelly, and it's like the thicker flannelly shirt. It's gonna keep you warm in our mild winter. <laughs> it's cold today. It's like to snow. Yeah. You guys, there's a blizzard. Did any of you guys get the crazy blizzard? Let us know in the comments. Are you in DC getting that 24 incher? So I have a black and white one like this and I've always wanted a red and black one. I call this my lumberjack shirt and it makes me happy. I think it was somewhere around 12 to $14. I don't know. Speaking of happy, get it? No, I don't get it. Sorry, there's no hope for you. It's cute sweatshirt, but it's like a nice thin soft material. It says happy, has a hood, a nice little scoopy bottom. And this one, I don't think it was on sale. You were $21.99. A okay. little on the pricey side, but this is great loungewear that can transition to, hey, I need to run to Target to pick up a couple things. <laughs> And if you didn't know, athleisure is like the new hotness. Get you some. Speaking of athleisure wear, California. On my mind. Knows my how to party. Yes, they do. They definitely do. <laughs> so first I saw the color and I was like, oh, it's a pretty blue. And I just got my hair highlighted. I was like, oh, look, good blonde hair. And then I felt it and I was like, you feel good. And then I got it home and put it on and I was like, yeah, buddy, I'm going to live in this. And I've already worn it a bajillion times. What size did you go for? I got a medium. And shockingly, no, I got a large. And yeah, I got a medium. It's a good size. Yeah. It was not gigantic. Like no. the arms fit pretty well and the length is good. So you just have to make that like choice on it. Like to, for athleisure wear, it's like, I want it to be a little bit, you know. Because we were not in the trying on mood that night. Oh no, no. no. Sometimes you buy things and you take them home first. Yeah. yeah. Cause you want to try them on in the comfort of your own home. Also, sometimes I, I feel like my lighting at home is, is oh, yeah. more nice. Yeah. Okay, I think this kind of sort of qualifies as in the athleisure it does. realm because it has lines on it that make it look like... It's kind of like a half-zip hoodie would look, but like just a big collar neck. Yeah, so it's got like your cowl neck going on and... I have a tunic pullover. It's a pullover. Yeah. It's not a sweater. Like, let me just show you like cowling neck. And this is the Morona brand again. I went for an extra small because I am, you know, watching my figure and I predict that it will fit comfortably over my hips in about two weeks. <laughs> I mean, it was, it works. I can wear it totally, but according to my app, it's going to take me five weeks. Okay. Well, so I went with extra small and it was $27.99, a little pricey, but I love it. And it came in lots of different colors. Okay. But I'm real excited about these next two pieces because these, it's so funny. These were actually in the area that kind of talked about athleisure and it was on mannequins with like leggings and, and athleisure. Leisurely stuff. That's like word new, of the video. That's a new trendy word. Athleisure. athleisure. I don't know. It's like because it's like you're wearing athletic wear, but like you're just lounging in it because you're too lazy to be athletic. So right. it's athleisure. <laughs> lazy girls for life. So funny. So yeah, I you know seeing this on, it just looks like a white blob. I'm so sorry, but it's like got it's got like a triangular asymmetrical. An asymmetrical bottom, and it's really cute on. And it was expensive. $22.99. That's not that it's bad. Expensive. Could have been thirty. That's Target expensive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's their like nice items. Actually, it's like Marona's more. Yeah, thirty and thirty-five. Yeah. It's getting up there, but it's got kind of a dolman type sleeve. Look at me, I'm such a fashionista. I know my terminology. It's just real cute and cozy and comfy, and I'm starting to really like creams. I was usually afraid of them because I thought they would like make me look not smaller, the bigger. So I like black, but I'm, I'm branching. I love tree. black everything. Okay, this is a fun shirt, and I don't know what to call this. But, but she loved it so much she wanted it in every color. I did, I did get it in black also. And it's different from what I have on. What I have on is more of like berry color and this is more burgundy. It's real thin, so it's good for some of those mild days we've been having. And I love the scoopy bottom. Scoopy if bottom is my know, favorite. Scoopy bottom is really uh, flattering. For on your the legs. hips and, and hips. thighs area, for yeah. sure. And it's Massimo, and this was only $15. Ooh. Yeah. 
I've been also really loving oversized things. What's wrong with me? It's like I'm What's a whole new her? person. Actually, I've always really you, liked Yeah, you've always oversized. liked oversized. And I like fitted. Yeah. So this one, I didn't get it so much for the shape because if you really look like look at it, it's just like a very streamlined thing. I just really liked the blush color. It looks identical material. to a sweater I got from Zara, which I'm sure was more than that. Than 1999. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the one cool thing about this though is it's got the trendy like side slit, but like mama's gonna have to be careful with what she wears because mama's got love handles. And I don't think it's real cute when mama's wearing the sweater and a big chunk of love handles hanging out. Nobody enjoys that. Either that or like, I just need to like wear some higher waisted pants so I yes. can like suff a coat, suff a coat. <laughs> Suffocate my love handles inside the pants so they can't Get breathe. Out. But I just really like the color and I'm into it. You guys, I have been on a book kit. Please hit me because I've got to finish my book. Do it. I've been trying to get her to finish Fifth Wave because I want to go see the movie. But I recently, during the like Christmas breaky time, read a book that our sister Heather recommended, which was called The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oh my gosh. So good. If you are living in like Australia, whatever, like you would appreciate these because they're set in like Sydney and you know, um, other places in Australia. I can't really remember the other places. I just remember Sydney. But do you read it with an Australian accent? <laughs> Sometimes I try. <laughs> no, you do not. No, because I'm reading it and I'm like, these Do they say terms that are like very Australian or is um, it? You know, I really think I only pay attention to the fact that they're from there when I hear a place. But the husband's secret was so good that I had to get another one and this is what Alice forgot. Okay, so it says that she's, the main character is 29. She loves her husband, she's pregnant with her first child and she she realizes she's 39 and has three, year, three kids and is getting a divorce. Like what happened in those 10 years? I don't know, Alice forgot. Oh, and it's gonna be a movie. I love books to movies. So um, I got this nice, modest, crop top. I got a swimsuit top in winter time. What is wrong with me? Because if you wait until like February or March, all of the girls who are going on spring break are gonna clean that place out. Yeah, so I got the size that I am now, which in swimsuit, which is like a medium. Hopefully it still fits if I uh, get any thinner, which we're hoping. But, but this I is mean, my it's favorite. not really like. No, you can pretty much adjust. Yeah, it's kind of like a sports bra. Yeah, and I don't think my bobs are gonna get that much smaller. But I just, I love these kinds of tops because I'm really self-conscious about like right under here. I have a little roll. We're working on it. I love to cover it up with that. So I have a bunch of these tops. And I can't really wear triangle ones because boobs. The next one is a book that I found out about from the Golden Globes because there is already a movie out. So it's called Room and it's about a woman who gets kidnapped and lives in this room for seven years and she has a kid while she's there. And so like that's all the kid has ever known is that room. So I'm excited but not because I feel like it's gonna be kind depressing. of depressing. I stay away from those books. I always read like the love books or the comedy books. You know or... what though? They're crazy. Like I read the Elizabeth Smart one and it was insane. And then I stumbled across this really pretty necklace. It's got like this light, icy blue little crystal on it and some little fringy fringe. And that's a long necklace and I just thought it was beautiful. So I got it. And the next book I got was called Somebody I Used Somebody. to Know. I don't even have the tone. Yeah, so it's by David Bell, and it's about this guy who sees a girl in the grocery store, and he's like, oh my gosh, she looks like my college girlfriend who died in a house fire. <laughs> All these <laughs> uplifting books. He tries to talk to her, but she like kind of is like, what? I don't know you, bye. And Alicia? then the next morning, the police come to his house and show him a photo of the woman, and she's been found dead, murdered in a local motel with his name and address on a piece of paper in her pocket. What? What happened? I don't know. I don't really go for like mystery novels, but, but that sounds good. It does sound good. And you know what? Like Target books, you can get them for almost ten dollars because they're usually twenty percent off. And then with your red card, five percent off and paperback yeah, no deal. I love books. And then I take my books and I decorate with them because, like, you know. Yeah. All right, guys, that is everything we got from Target. We will have links down below if you're like, hey, I need that in my life too. We'll have them down there and click them. And we'll be like twinsies. We'll have the same makeup, same lippies, same, same book. We can talk about these books. If you guys have read them, tell me what you think down below because, and recommend other books. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe. And we will talk to you guys in a video super soon. We sure will. Bye, -bye. Bye guys.